Hey everyone, welcome. Today we are unboxing the Blockstream Jade, this wallet right here. Let's get started with it. Here is the Blockstream Jade right here in my hands. It's quite compact, it's quite sturdy. It, you can have it in different colors. I have the green one right here, the original one, the jade green one, the white clear one and a black one. There's many other colors. You can have it in orange Bitcoin. So this wallet is a Bitcoin only wallet. It doesn't do any other crypto. It supports another network, not really another crypto, but another network, which is the liquid network. It's a side chain for Bitcoin on which you can have Bitcoins one to one with the Bitcoin network. It's a convenient chain to use when uh, the Bitcoin network fees are quite high. So it's a very affordable wallet, uh, maybe one of the probably the cheapest hardware wallet I, I know of. And it has many interesting features that other wallets don't. It packs a lot of things in here, actually much more than a lot of wallets you can see around here. First, it has a camera. It has a roller switch right here to move between options to change settings. And it has a button, first one right here to, it's like a yes button to validate. And one here to go back or to close, to turn off the wallet. You can plug it with USB-C and it also has a battery. So you can transport it quite easily without having to plug it and you can use it in four different ways. Uh, the first way is using a USB cable. You can just plug it to the wallet and then plug this to your computer or to your phone. It also has a Bluetooth chip so you can use it uh, wirelessly with uh, Bluetooth and transmit information about transactions you want to sign on the wallet then sign the transaction and send back the signed transaction to your app on your phone or on your desktop. Uh, and the third way is using the camera. So that way it's called an air gapped mode because you're actually not directly interacting using a medium or a channel that you cannot easily observe. And with the camera, you're basically scanning the transaction information from your phone or your laptop or desktop as QR codes. So you can actually see and decipher uh, the information being transmitted with any QR code scanner that you probably have on your phone. And then the wallet will take that information, the information about a transaction, sign the transaction and show you the signed transaction as QR code. So you can again scan it and ensure that what's being transmitted between the laptop and the wallet is nothing malicious. And then you can use your app to basically show the QR codes of the signed transaction and the wallet app you're using uh, will be able to take that information and use it to uh, broadcast the, the transaction. And the last way, which is like the most advanced secure scheme it has is that it has a completely stateless mode. So in that mode, the wallet, each time you turn it off, will forget about any seed information recorded on it. So this is very different from other wallets you see here. We will basically keep the seed, uh, the 24 words, all 12 words you have in memory, which is kind of risky because if someone finds your wallet, they have to crack the pin code. This wallet also has a pin code. If you keep the seed on it using one of the three first ways we just discussed, the cable, the Bluetooth or uh, the, the camera mode to keep a seed and then sign with that seed. It's just that the pin code is easier to find than uh, the seed. Anyone can try to, to crack it. If you get it wrong too many times, the wallet will uh, erase, reset itself, but still someone could find the pin, it's easier to find. So the stateless mode that this wallet has and a few others, but this one has it too, is that the wallet will forget about the seed each time you turn it off and on. So that means that you have you need to have your seed not too far away and re-import it each time you need uh, to transact with the wallet. Uh, so this is a great setup actually for cold storage where you want to be sure that your seed is completely secure. And in that case, what you can do is write the seed as a QR code, like it's shown right here, because the QR code is gonna take an instant to, to scan. So that way you only have to protect your seed as a QR code. And if even someone finds your hardware wallet, it doesn't change much because there is no information on the hardware wallet. It keeps erasing its memory each time you, you turn it off. The wallet supports Bitcoin, uh, single signature, multi-signature and liquid. Single signature and multi-signature, which is the one-to-one -one side chain with, with Bitcoin that can be quite convenient when the transaction fees are too high. Interesting features about this wallet that other wallets don't have is that it has a battery, uh, which means you can easily transport it. And you know, if you're using it for a hardware wallet with Bluetooth, 
it's kind of convenient. You don't have to store the seed on your phone, your smartphone, but you can still have this in your pocket. It's compact, it fits in the pocket, has a battery, and turn it on whenever you need to sign a transaction, for example. It also has a dress pin uh, setting, quite interesting. You can set up a pin code that if you ever input it when the wallet asks for your pin, the wallet's gonna simply uh, reset, erase it completely, its memory, uh, and display an error message. So if someone is uh, threatening you and forcing you to unlock your hardware wallet with the pin, you can just write the dress pin and it'll show an error message, which basically will allow you to say, I don't know what's happening, and then the wallet resets and erases the seed that's stored on the wallet. It also has an OTP feature. So the OTP is basically the 2FA code that some websites or actually today most websites allow you to uh, import on your authenticator app on your phone like the Google Authenticator app or any other authenticator app. This white can actually import those uh, codes and then if you uh, connect it to the Bluetooth or uh, a cable which will allow it to get the time, it will be able to show you the six numbers uh, you need to input that change every 30 seconds when you're using, I don't know, Google or uh, any other platform that uses 2FA which is more and more common. So you can import those in this wallet, which is also quite interesting. Extremely affordable, very few hardware wallets are this cheap. It's probably the cheapest I know of, but it still packs a lot of feature and it has advanced security schemes from you know using a cable to using a stateless mode, uh, which allows you to completely secure your seed outside of any electronics device and only import it for the short duration you need to uh, transact with it. There's also a firmware for this wallet that doesn't de deactivates the Bluetooth. So you're completely sure that the Bluetooth cannot be used in case you know you have some doubts about the security of using Bluetooth or even having Bluetooth on uh, your wallet. And it even has some funny features like there's a firmware for this that allows you to mine with the chip. It's called an ESP32 chip that's on this wallet. So you can install that firmware and then you know mine with this. So it, it'll never find any blocks. It's called the lottery miner because the probability that you find a block is extremely, extremely low, but you can still mine with it for fun. It'll show you the, the hash rate you have on this and other information about the Bitcoin mining network if you are curious about it. This wallet is completely open source. The hardware is open source. The software is open source. Everything is open source. It's based on the chip I just mentioned, the ESP32 chip, and actually you can buy many uh, devices on Alibaba and other websites uh, that will um, have an ESP32 chip, small electronic devices with a display and a button and have an ESP32 chip, and you can then yourself flash the Jade firmware on that chip. So if you want, you can buy one of those $15 Lilygo ESP32 displays and flash the firmware yourself on it and you know, use it as a hardware wallet if, if you'd like. Since it's completely open source, it's compatible with most Bitcoin wallets. So you can, you know, any wallet will basically support this, either through the air gapped mode with the camera or through Bluetooth or through cable. You actually never have to use the Blockstream wallet, which is called Green, uh, not even to update the wallet. So this is great because one of the major security risks with hardware wallets uh, for example, Trezor or Ledger is that you have to use the Trezor or Ledger app that is closed source to interact with your seed and to update, upgrade the firmware on your wallet. And that represents quite a risk because some at some day they could just update that app in a malicious way and you know make your hardware wallet do stuff you don't want to do. So with this wallet, you never have to use a single app. You can choose whichever app you want to use and you can still use all the features and even update the wallet. But the Blockstream green wallet on your desktop or your smartphone is completely compatible with this wallet. It even allows you to use it with Lightning, for example. So you can have a Lightning wallet associated with this. So it's a very interesting wallet because at the opposite of other hardware wallets, what Blockstream decided to do is to go as cheap as possible, uh, which they had to compensate for in some ways. This wallet has a feature called the Pin Oracle, uh, basically, it doesn't have what's called a secure element, which other hardware wallets have. It's a secure element chip uh, that allows them to better secure your seed, basically. This one doesn't have that, so it allows it to be quite cheap, although it has a camera, Bluetooth, battery, the nice display, everything. But they're using this pin oracle system in which basically uh, there's a 
secret that's held on a server at Blockstream and you have the other part of the secret, so it's, the information on the Blockstream server is not enough, but by communicating with that server uh, when you are uh, unlocking your wallet, you're basically creating a virtual uh, secure element, which allowed them to go quite cheap. The cool thing is that even that is open source and you can deploy your own blind Oracle or pin Oracle uh, server uh, to communicate with your J. So thanks to this creative way of securing uh, the wallet, uh, Blockstream was able to provide a really cheap wallet that is quite sleek, lightweight, uh, and is really thought for Bitcoiners and can be used in many different ways. So it can be used by something to secure a hardware hot wallet on their phone with the Bluetooth, can be used that way, but it can also be used as your basically way to transact from your cold storage seed that are completely secure or to create a lightning wallet through the green app. So it's extremely versatile, it's quite cheap, can have it in many colors, which is quite cool and it's quite nice. So if you're looking for a solid, lightweight, versatile Bitcoin wallet, the Blockstream Jade might be what you're looking for.